When you think of Afghanistan, I'm sure nothing good comes to mind, as is the case for any country you only know about from the media. Afghanistan obviously isn't perfect. There are still newsworthy stories happening quite often. The death toll now climbing after a bomb exploded inside a mosque in Kabul. At least 21 people are dead. Dozens more were injured in the blast. But what if I was to tell you right now is the safest time to visit Afghanistan? At least since the U.S. withdrawal one year ago, or just under a year ago, has saw a fairly marked decrease in violence. Sounds crazy, right? I didn't believe it either until entering the country. As always, people are people. Even the Taliban, they're just people. After Polly and I had many encounters with the Taliban is, uh, the and even Taliban. sat down with them to have tea, I've learned that they're no different than you or I. No, Afghanistan isn't a country left in ruins from endless war. No, it's not full of people who want to kill or kidnap you. It's honestly kind of a regular place. It has bustling cities filled with people just trying to live their life the best way they can. Like pretty much any country we've been to, Afghanistan is filled with misunderstood people with endless hospitality. Join us as we explore the safest time to travel in the most dangerous country in the world. Afghanistan. We're just pulling up to the airport now. We just got out of our Uber. Any thoughts? That you're looking very Afghani. Yes, I'm trying my best. I'm not there yet, but I will have an abaya. And no one will think we're uh, tourists. <laughs> no one will ever know. No one will ever know. But yeah, our flight leaves at 4.30? 4.30, yeah. I think it's like 1 o'clock now. We're going to hang out in the lounge. I wish there was beer here to have a few drinks before going to Afghanistan. I but. wish there was wine. Or at least I could have brought some grapes and we could have made our own. Yeah. We'll be fine. Our deliveries will be happy then. Exactly. Nice. We'll be fine. <laughs> running around all over the place because uh, we can't find where Cam Air is um, and everyone keeps saying it's that way, some say it's that way, some say it's that way. So it's a little bit confusing. There are no signs for it, but we will find it and get on the plane. And hopefully it's not just us two <laughs> on the plane. Because fun fact, I'm actually scared of flying. I know everything's okay, but I get, I get a little nervous, but I'm happy that he's with me. Yeah, I think, I'm starting to think Cam Air is this made up airline that oh i see it you do oh i see it we see it on the board but uh rq we'll check back in after customs if oh. we make it that far we're doing it it's really happening we board in 30 ish minutes. or start boarding now but it leaves in like 30 ish minutes also how many people do you think are going to be on the plane i think it'll be packed you think so yeah i hope so something about empty planes no, I'd rather it be empty. I'm a nervous. Yeah. All right, we're here. I didn't think it was gonna move. Did you? How do you feel? Are you excited? I have butterflies in my stomach. I'm not nervous right now, but as soon as we land and I step out of the airport, I'm gonna be shit in my pants. I think everyone's looking at us like you're on the, you're at the wrong gate. Board in the train, the train, the plane to Afghanistan. The jitters, the jitters, the jitters are giving me all the jitters. <laughs> Only about an hour or two we land. I hope we have no problems with the town. Following 
No turning back now. Our plane actually took off for like back away 15 minutes early. So. They were like, take off before the Americans get scared. At least it's a short flight. Put your mask on first before assisting. We just got out. We made it. It was actually a pretty quick and painless exit from the airplane. It was very quick. Everyone was extremely nice. You the line. Your money right away. Yeah, a great exchange rate. Better than what I got in Pakistan. Um, yeah, everyone was really friendly. Uh huh. Um, clean. Yeah. And oh, don't forget to bring a passport picture. We were told to do that, so we were lucky. Um, but when you arrive, when you land, you have to do a foreign administration thing, and they ask you for a passport photo. Yeah, I don't know what the, you would do if you didn't have yeah. one, but but it's cool when you get off the customs. I think I filmed it for a second. Looks like it's right out of like 1940. Like it hasn't changed a bit. It's really mm -hmm. cool. But it's cool when you land, you see like all the helicopters and airplanes that uh, the U.S. military left behind. Inshallah, we'll be back there in six days.
We just got into our hotel. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Have a, I turned the AC off because it was a little bit loud. I'm on my phone, so I don't know how the audio will be. But I'll give you a little tour of uh, the balcon. That right there is the uh, the Taliban flag waving in the wind. There's another one right here. And on the way here, we saw a lot of Taliban with uh, their guns crossing the street, riding uh, in trucks in front of us, which is crazy to see. Um. I guess I didn't really realize that they would just be everywhere, right? Did you? I had a feeling. Yeah. I, I had a feeling. I mean, I but knew. It's still surreal to yeah. a be in Afghanistan mm -hmm. and two to see yeah. the Taliban in person versus the media and everything. Yeah, yeah, and they were in the back of the truck and just had their guns on their lap and they're all pointed at us, like not on purpose, obviously, but so crazy. Um, but I think in like five or ten minutes, we're going to go and grab some food. Um, so I am getting pretty hungry. Their money here, it's... The majority of it is all taped up. It's just old. Very, very old looking. But it's cool looking money. I think a lot of countries, when you tape the currency, that they, they won't accept it. But here, I think... It's just... It is what it is. Um, yeah, so let's go grab some food. So we're about to have our first meal. What's the name of this place? Uh, Herat? Herat the restaurant? Yeah, okay, very nice. After you. Uh, thank you. Herat restaurant. Um, we just got here and we have a special guest here eating with us. I'm excited to eat. Me and Polly really haven't eaten too much today. But look at this place, it's awesome. And they have the best dogs here ever. And besides the dogs, we have someone that I'm sure you all already know, Emma. Hi! <laughs> Is now your fourth time at this restaurant? Oh yeah, at least. So you're a pro. So you'll know all the good stuff at you get. At least the fourth time. Ah, this is so cool. We're sitting on like a bed type thing. Also, Emma has been our god, uh, godmother, fairy godmother, guardian <laughs> godmother. angel. Godmother. <laughs> the fairy, yeah, for everything. I'm gonna say this to everyone, never. But <laughs> we're here because of Emma, and because of Jay Palfrey. But Emma, tell tell everyone like what well, everything you did for us. No, I did <laughs> too much. I just gave you advice. Yeah, so much advice. It was more than advice. Yeah, she's. We wouldn't so have been able to get to Pakistan without Emma. If we didn't get to Pakistan, we wouldn't have gotten the visa yeah, to get yeah, here. Yeah. So we, we owe everything to yeah, Emma, no matter what she it. says. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. That was, so that was really, really good. All right, so you're going to describe the food, right? <laughs> Are you joking, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm such a good food vlogger. <laughs> Jay will be so proud of me. <laughs> I think your Afghanistan food vlog was one of the best food vlogs I've ever seen. <laughs> Thanks to Jay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you guys already know Emma. Like, if you're watching this, I'm sure you've already seen her videos. If not, I'll put the link to her videos below. And if you haven't, watch them. So I'm finally trying the Mantu. Me and Polly in Pakistan were looking everywhere for this. We couldn't find it. And this is some beef Mantu.
I feel like Emma, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I'm going to have a bite of the kabuli pulao. Mm. You just can't go wrong with it. It's very savory, oily, but, but not too heavy. Um, and it doesn't have that bit of, um, we just had it in Pakistan in Peshawar and that one was actually, had a sweeter, more cinnamony taste. This one is just pure savory. That's it for our dinner on day one. We didn't really film too much. We feel jet lagged, even though we're not jet lagged. We went to sleep so late last night. Um, but tomorrow we'll start the real videos.